This is a dwarf nectarine we planted four or five years ago. Now, one of the things to be aware of is the rootstock, which is peach. Now, the reason why they plant the put the dwarf nectarine onto peach stock is because the rootstock of peach has much stronger roots. These tall shoots here are the rootstock. They're some sort of wild peach. Now, the nectarine is good to graft onto the peach because they're very close related. Nectarine is a half plum and half peach. So, anyway, the reason why they put it onto the rootstock is because the wild rootstock has very strong roots. But they will always try to reshoot and dominate, shade the tree out and kill the tree below and then it's it's sing like itself again. Now, effectively what a graft is, you're taking the top of a tree and the roots of a tree and you're putting them together and they aren't the same tree. So this is two different trees. And the rootstock, being the stronger tree, will always try to take over. So you have to keep removing them down here and don't let them take over, otherwise you lose your fruit tree. Right, you need to cut these as close in as you can because it's leaving wood for them to shoot from. So cut them close to the ground. And in spring, it's really important to keep an eye on them. If they put some more shoots out, just break them off then and they'll give up. But I've been doing this for years. Here's one they cut off last year. So, sleeping dog. Yeah. They should be right now. Do you want to point to the one you cut last year? This is the one I cut last year. Here. Yeah, that's good. And here's the seed of a nectarine from last year. So they don't have dwarf fruit, 